Hey everybody, so back in the kitchen. <laughs> we are going to make a pantry, prepper pantry breakfast for a week. So I have a jar of sausage patties that I've canned. I have some instant milk. And if you have a protein shaker with one of those wire balls, that's really good to mix your powdered eggs, milk, stuff like that. It's really good for using that. We have some flour, some tortillas, and some eggs. And you can use your powdered eggs your canned sausage, your powdered milk, and we are going to do breakfast for a week. So first, see if I can get that fat off the top. They're really easy to get out if you brown them before you can them. Of course, I'm going to chunk, break it up, so it doesn't really matter. But if you were wanting to do breakfast with patties, We're going to break this up because we're going to make a biscuit and gravy scramble burrito. And then we'll see if my husband loves it or hates it. And we're not telling him that this is all pantry staples. So I will know tomorrow. Just chop up your, this one was the one on the top. Smells like sausage. So we're just gonna get this hot and browned up. It's already cooked, so you don't need to do much. And then there was a lady who said to buy the foil sheets and I finally found them. So this should make my life way easier with wrapping breakfast every week. And they work that much. So I won't be going through my rolls as quickly either. And once you get this hot, and you can use the juice from your uh, sausage as well, but I don't want all that fat in there. We're going to add some flour. There's a tablespoon. 
totally a tablespoon. And I'm not going to make this too runny because it is going into a breakfast burrito. I'm going to add another tablespoon. Two cups of dry milk. And you could do this the same way for a Sunday breakfast. Make some biscuits. Or do a breakfast scramble. You could do some dehydrated hash browns, your eggs, and your gravy, and just smother your hash browns and all of that. It's all kinds of things you can do with your pantry preps. Just stir this until it is thickened. And then I will put this in a bowl and do my eggs. I do want to, I, I usually try and stay on the down low with everything going on, but if you aren't putting things back in your pantry, I would assume anybody on this channel is, but if you aren't, please think about doing so. Just have a little food security for yourself or you and your family. Whatever your situation may be, I think we're in for a rough ride and there's no telling what all will be on the ride. Okay, this is starting to thicken up. Going to add a smidge of salt. Like this pepper. And any milk you have left, just pop it in the refrigerator. And 
this is ready. the bowl. I'm going to rinse my pan and I will come back after I've scrambled the eggs because I'm sure you guys all know how to scramble eggs. Okay, here's our eggs. So now foil. I'm sorry I bumped you. These are high fiber, low carb tortillas for my husband. Now if I have to start making him tortillas, he's just going to have to forego this carb thing. For my gravy, and then we fold in our sides, roll it over. There you have it. Let's turn it to an angle. Fold it up. And he doesn't like a big fat burrito for breakfast. So. And that's all there is to it, you guys. for this. These are very soft tortillas. Afraid I'm going to rip them. He's going to get mad. His filling comes dripping out. I don't want to get them too gravy. -y. And this is his breakfast. freezer and then I don't have to worry about that till next week I made I got like nine breakfast tacos last week out of my batch got gravy all over me so I didn't have to worry about his breakfast. These are so soft. I'm afraid I'm going to rip them. This burner is still hot too. Now 
And I try to do enough to go through the weekend. But I've not done these before. So I didn't know how many I'd get. And he will probably put salsa on these. Four. I think I'll get six. I need a tortilla. I was just going to put that right on the foil. Somebody got really mad. Well, a few people got really mad about those shorts I posted on the weather. But those kind of videos are, I mean, they're kind of, for me, what's been going on the last two years. that I like to share. I mean, I have some people that have been with me for quite a while and just like to share what's going on to some degree. So remind me never to take up vlogging because that will probably really make people mad. <laughs> Okay. And if he likes this, I'll make more filling because I have more gravy. Or I'll use that heart healthy this quick and make him biscuits and gravy. So there we go. Got six breakfast burritos. And we're good until next week. Unless I feel froggy and I go ahead and do them Sunday and then he'll have extra and yeah, I'll be ahead. So anyways, try these types of recipes. You don't have to do them for a week. You can do them for a weekend breakfast. Use those preps you have, those canned goods, those dry goods. Buy you a protein shaker to mix your eggs, your powdered milks. Works great. So if you have any questions, let me know about down below. Share what you do with your pantry items. And you all stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in the next video.